What's going on, everybody? This is David from David Duong Fitness. Super excited to be recording for you guys right now. I don't know why. I just feel super motivated. And if you can tell, my hair really long. I'm gonna get it. Maybe not trim. I'm gonna keep growing it out. And yeah, I'm gonna go see Mr. Daryl Clyde. These cuts. These nuts. <laughs> Got it. Pun intended. And yeah, I'm gonna get haircut. It's right, like 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Boom. Boom. And yeah, I'm gonna make this a really productive day. I'm gonna try to anyway. And I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll see you guys in a bit. Nice. This is a uh, very unorganized morning. It's all good. Oh, it is here. How's the lighting here? Are you still growing on your top? Yeah, I think so. Good morning. Good morning. It's so bright. Holy crap. There, oh, you there you go. There you go. There we go. Good morning. Let me just unpack this. I am. Latissimus dorsi, yo. I'm skinny, man. Those quads of peace, yo. Okay, my other guy's here. He will wait. Alright. Because you are my priority right now, and he's hey. a guy. <laughs> He's just a guy. <laughs> oh, um, he's the uh, the guy's little brother. Hmm. Which guy's little brother? Email. Or he's the guy's older brother. Who? Which one? The email or Romel? Oh, Romel. Yeah. Oh, what are the odds? Yeah, Shout outs, Romel, if you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. Reese. Because we're not that famous. We're way too famous. I'm the Loki. Dress me up nice and pretty. You got that collar on fleek. You got that collar on fleek. You don't want to pop that collar. You, you don't know about this. You ain't about this life. They don't want you to have a tissue around your neck. They don't want no. you to have a haircut first thing in the morning. No, they don't. They don't. They don't want that key. So what are we gonna do? We gonna get a haircut. We go. We about to get a haircut. That's right. First thing we gotta start That's your day off right. Start the day off right. Major key. Gotta get Major fresh. Key alert. So oh, thank you, sir. Thank you for doing me up all sexy. No problem. Peace out, bro. Nice meeting you. Your boy oh, looking. Man. Your boy looking good. Ah, that's good. <laughs> all right, take it easy, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, till next time, bro. Bye, Daryl's mom. guys haircut's complete now time to pick up my brother and sister and get the rest of this day done let's get it <laughs> recording bro okay. what's up guys this is david from david Gong fitness event eh, again <laughs> coming at you with a back workout but i'm not focusing on the back there i'm focusing on more um the forgotten muscles like traps this is on the traps before i'm for <laughs> you just said trash. <laughs> trash. Whatever. This isn't trash. Trash, this and then there's forearm. forearm in the back. Okay, I swear I know what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> That's it, just kidding. I know my forearm from my traps. There, see, I got it there. Okay, but for this workout, uh, I won't be showing you a lot of back exercises. First, I'm just gonna show you like, uh, a little bit of uh, detail about traps and the forearms, what they do. Basically, forearms, wrist flexion and extension, right? That's what they work on. Grip strength, right? And when you do hammer curls, you'll feel it a little bit too. Right? So we'll work on a couple of workouts like that and I'll show you a couple of things to work on your forearms. And forearms come in, come in different ways. Like detailed forearms bring out more of your arm because you don't want to be like that guy with big ass arms right up here and going down the little forearm. <laughs> don't look at me like that Carlo. <laughs> but yeah, so you don't want to be that guy like big up, big up over here, small forearms. So you got to work them out, right? You got to do your wrist 
a lot of people don't do it, but you feel it a lot, especially do pull up sometimes, right at the top. If you ever pull in with your forearms, you'll feel it. Technically, you should be pulling with your elbows, but we'll get into that in the back video. And then also the traps, this muscle here. To work it out, shrugs, yeah, everybody knows shrugs. But it's, there's three parts to the traps, right? There's the upper traps, there's the middle traps here, and there's lower than that. It actually extends all the way down yeah. here. Right it, there. Yeah, all, all the way down here, right? So this little bar right here. But yeah, um, a lot of the time when it comes to the upper traps, uh, they work. Um, mostly when you turn your neck, right? You feel the pull here. That's why sometimes when you feel like a pull in your neck, if you ever turn, that's your traps. They're getting tight. So, and remember in past videos, I talked about retracting your scapula. Also the traps actually, right? Keep your shoulders tight, pulling them in. Traps put into work. And finally, when it comes to the middle and lower, you can, those normally come in with your back workout anyway. That's why I'm picking today to do it during my back workout. But typically for traps and forearms, you can even throw them in on like shoulder days or any back day. It's really up to personal preference. And workout rep ranges, I'm not gonna tell you really any rep ranges a lot. I'll tell you what the ones I do that work for me. But here I'll show Whatever you. Whatever that works for you. The ones that work for me. I'm not gonna suggest anything. I'm not gonna prescribe anything. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm not prescribing shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, to activate your lower traps right down here, usually you activate them and do pull ups. You may not feel it a lot, but if you were to do it right, you'll feel a pull right in the bottom of your back. And then for the middle traps, usually it comes in rolling, rolling motions. You'll feel a pull right back here and right between your shoulder blades. Squeeze and also, it. yeah, when you're squeezing. And also when you do rear delt flies in that machine, we do like chest, but nobody really does it. So they reverse. Do, they do the reverse. The reverse, bro. You'll see it in the middle of the back as well. I'll show you guys a little bit later on, but yeah, this is what this video will be about. Thank you in advance for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. We're gonna be hitting some seated rows here for the hoes. <laughs> Shout out Chris Jones. You see, if you see what I was talking about with the middle trap, so when you pull your Shoulders back, that scapula retraction, right? And when you squeeze at the top here, it's working your middle traps. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keep your scapula retracted. It'll put your neck and your shoulders in a vulnerable position if you don't keep it retracted. Uh, David going for the ego lift. Just because. Don't, don't try this at home, guys. Never have 200 pounds just lying around at home. Especially. Fake weights. Just Fake kidding. Weights. Welcome to Carlo Fitness. You see my gym buddy Dom over here. <laughs> I'm gonna get him cut to uh, 130. He's about 165 right now. But with my program, the 5% oh, shit. 5 is program. Five <laughs> Just program. The 5% range of motion. Okay, let's see it. So we're bro. gonna get it cut to 135. He's 165 right now. Watch this. Biggest guy right here. You gotta set an example. 5% range of motion. Gold's gym. Yeah. 5% so range of motion, guys. That. Gains. Get my ducks going too. Just kidding. So guys, what we did there was a five percenter workout, available at uh, Carlo CarloFitness.com. Zero for Instagram. Contact me. I got some programs like uh, I got Scamborghini waiting outside right now. We got a Adobe Gains program <laughs> if you guys want it. It's only twenty four ninety nine. You guys get it from me, but if you get it from David, man, obviously he's gonna. I'll give you a 10% discount, bro. Nah, he's gonna scam the shit out of you, man. This guy charges 60 bucks a month for this fucking program. But for me, it's only 24, yo. And I'll teach you how to edit videos and stuff like that, and pictures too. Make your arms 22, yo. All right, peace out, guys. Peace out. <laughs> away from our sponsor. Just kidding. <laughs> away from our sponsor. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah. So after that little programming is finished, I'll show you guys what's up. So like I was saying, like any sort of vertical pulling motion, like pull-ups, right? It'll work on your lower traps. 
you guys gotta squeeze at the very bottom of the motion, that's when you feel it the most. So any sort of yeah, exactly. overhead, <laughs> any sort of overhead pulling motion, that'll activate your lower traps. Watch closely. Five percent. Five percent. No, but for real, actually, guys, if you were to do like this, that activates your traps. Yeah. If you pull with like just like your back, not even move your arms, just that'll activate your lower traps. You'll feel the squeeze at the bottom of this motion right here. But ideally. No, squeeze it. Down, squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze that. So guys, uh, one more thing for traps. We've already practically hit middle traps with the rows squeezing at the top. We've hit the lower traps when we're doing the overhead vertical pulling motions. And now finally just to finish off the upper traps. Two strokes. Pretty much practically the only way to hit it. Other than like overhead press or something. So just typically I like to go heavier than this, I just go like two plates. It really depends on you. Like personal preference, that's why I'm not suggesting any sort of rep ranges, any sort of weight. It's really up to you, whatever works for you. If lightweight with high reps works for you, then do, we'll it. do it. If if it's heavy weight and low reps, reps, do it. You do it, whatever works for you, right? But thanks for the finish of the trash. And I'll show you guys a bit of forearms in a second. What's up guys? <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just finished a uh, super set of hammer curls. Ready tax. But I'll show you really quick. During hammer curls, you can work your forearms too, right here. So when you have your arms and your hands in a parallel, like neutral position, you work this part of the forearm here, and you'll see it when you do hammer curls, right? As you can see, when you squeeze at the very top, you're squeezing right here. You see how hard it is there, and your your long head back up. But if you want to focus primarily on the forearms, this is where you do it, right? Squeeze, like hard squeeze at the bottom, or the top of the bottom. Stretch out, squeeze at the very top of the motion. Same thing with your other arm. <laughs> you, don't be, you don't wanna be that guy. <laughs> okay, squeeze, and forearm. Squeeze it, and then. And like I said earlier, flexion and extension of your wrist is all, all, all like forearm work, so I'll show you. Or we can just go home and. Uh, or we can just go home, but go home and. I'm doing this for you guys. Pull up a, a video online. You know, you know me. No, you guys gotta watch my video. <laughs> Not his video though. Like so real quick. You want you to rest it on your knees. Just, just flex your wrist, guys. You can see a small contraction in my forearms there, because it's such a small muscle. It's hard to see. And not because I'm small, I swear. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm pretty small. But all your wrists, right? You do a dumbbells or with a barbell. Like really like barbell if you want. Something. And this one you'll feel it a lot more. On the wrist contraction. Right, so that's three different angles I've shown you, right? From the parallel on the hammer curls. The contraction and extension. And then one more tip I want to give you guys. If you've ever noticed while you're deadlifting or whatsoever curling, you've lost strength, like in your like you lost your grip, that's all forearms. Your grip strength is all your forearms. You can see it contracting when I tighten my grip. That's all your forearms. So when you feel like you're losing grip, especially on deadlifts, any sort of pulling motion, that's all your forearms. So if you need to improve your grip strength, improve those forearms. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like down below if you guys like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment for what other videos you want to see. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's it's out. out. <laughs> <laughs>